All right. Hey, here we are. Uh, it's the it's the twelfth, I think. What day is it? It's the thirteenth. All right. So I got to walk tomorrow in San Antonio, Texas. Um, we're gonna go ahead and Trinity's got to warm up before we get going. So, but I'm gonna head out there today. About four hundred mile trip to the KOA out there. I'll get another cabin tonight because, well, it's cold and. Uh, I don't do cold that well, so hang on here, here's what we got. That's that's how cold it is right there, Trinity doesn't want to start. Alright, so we'll start up front, um, obviously Big Harley Davidson gave me um, an amazing deal on the bike when I proposed to them what I wanted to do. A lot of people are asking me, oh, you know, they gave you the bike, it's awesome. Well, they gave me a great price on the bike. I paid for the bike. Um, they may have let me use the bike. I didn't ask them. But when we're done with this trip, I want to keep the bike. So it wasn't even a debate. Um, I wrote Custom Dynamics. I said, hey, I've been using your products on my other two bikes. Uh, can you give me a deal? And they said, we can do you one better. We want to keep you safe on the road. So everything lightwise on this motorcycle is from Custom Dynamics. Uh, they have the halo in this, the main light as well. I just didn't get it wired up. I need to. I'll do that next time I'm home probably. Uh, the turn signals are pretty nice. Get one turned on here. You know, they, there is the Custom Dynamics rings. They go to, go to the main turn signal when they're going. Uh, Cruise Armor, I talked with them. I posted about it this morning. They put their film on everything. Matter of fact, my sticker did not want to stick. Um, but the front fender is done, the lights are all done, the lower fairings are done uh, right here on the front and on the side. The front of the gas tank is done, the, the tops of the gas tank is done, the full side covers, the uh, tops of the saddlebags, they can do the fronts of the saddlebags and they can do the tour pack. I didn't have them do it. Uh, actually, I forgot to remind them that I had a tour pack on a Road King. Uh, it is what it is. So, back to the front though, Memphis Shades. Gave, uh, actually, I, I purchased the Memphis Shades handguards. I love these things. It will be adding them to my other two bikes. Uh, the stock windshield on a Road King was too tall, so I went to a Memphis Shades um, windshield as well. And it's it sits lower, but it also looks a lot better. It looks more clean in my eyes. Uh, added the lower fairings. Those are Harley Davidson parts. Not only do they give me wind protection, but they also give me more storage. I have lower fairings on my street glide as well. I can't see me ever owning a touring bike and not have them. Uh, went with the Pingle heel shift eliminator. This gets a heel shifter out of there so that I don't have to, uh, my big feet don't fit. They, they end up getting wedged in between the heel shifter. Um, added the mini floorboards. Uh, I've always had regular pegs on my other two bikes and this is the way to go. These things, I, I love them. Everything on this bike is Harley Davidson parts except for the windshield and the handguards, just so you know. I pulled the fat boy, or I'm sorry, the tall boy seat off of my 2014 Street Glide. Actually, I'm going to turn around right now. Added a Heat Demon seat heat element uh, and some memory foam right here in the, the uh, rider position. Uh, the backrest I had memory foam put into. There's a place called Avalon Custom Seats in San Diego area. Uh, Frank does amazing work. I'll be taking my street glide seats to him uh, to get redone when I redo my street glide. Uh, the bag guards I pulled off of the bag, the saddle, I'm sorry, the saddle bag guard bags. There we go. I pulled off of um, my street glide as well. These have been all over. I've had a couple of different ones on my street glide because I've been hit on it before. They seem to get wrecked and the saddle bag guard gets bent. Uh, again, you've got the. Uh, the Cruise Armor on the saddlebag lids. Leslie K. Insurance, Law Tigers, Cruise Armor, thank you all, along with Big Charlie Davidson. Uh, we come back here to the back. I wish I had somebody to help me out because you've got, and they're dirty, I'll clean them before I go. Um, these are on low right now, and when I hit the brakes, all three lights come on. On a standard Road King, only this light is your brake light, and then these are your turn signal running lights. And these are amber instead of red. Right now they look amber on the video, but everything is red. Uh, when I hit the brakes right now, the way I've got it set up, they flash three times and then they stay on. So it's kind of nice. It does keep me safer. I, I can't thank Custom Dynamics enough for that. Uh, added a full tour pack. Um, 
again, I have a tour pack on my street glide. I keep my bag of clothes is here. Everything else to the trip is in is contained. Um, I had to repack a little bit. I also had to buy a new bag. Some of you saw my old bag from, um, I forget who it was even from. The good bag though, I liked it. But I had to buy a new bag because the, the straps were ripping. Uh, I do like this bag from Harley Davidson better actually. Um, went with the Street Cannon exhaust, a stage one ventilator intake. I think that's what it's called. And then I've got the uh, tuner with me on the trip also in case anything happens. So it's one of those things that um, this bike was set up specifically for this trip. Uh, I've added power right here that runs in. This is key only. I've got ram mounts. I added ordered another one of these mounts and one of the mounts that mounts right here. I'll end up moving this camera to here. Or actually my phone will go here. This mount will get moved down here. And then we're going to add another mount right here on this side so that uh, you guys can get better angles of some of the riding. I'm playing with the GoPros a little bit and I've got to learn some stuff as well. It's all new to me. So um, that's how the bike is set up. I'm going to go ahead. I'll save this video. I'll upload it to YouTube. So those of you that missed it live, it doesn't matter because you're not here. But you'll end up being able to watch it too. Uh, right now on a trip, we are 5,651 miles on the odometer. So that means that we are 4,600 miles just shy of into the trip. I'm going to do a 400 mile day. Sunday.